On this episode of Husa Garage, we partner up with Life Motorsport on an exciting new project. Andrew cuts up a perfectly good intake plenum, and we make some ridiculous faces on camera. Chris, there's a thing here. It's a cool thing. See this thing? Life Motorsports? Wicked fast GTR, but that's not it. That's not it. Those. Earlier this year, Life Motorsport brought us a special project to work on. Life Motorsport manufactures a line of specialty race cars called Sierra Cars. They are open wheel, motorcycle engined go-karts available in a variety of trims for racing use both on and off the tarmac. But the project we were particularly excited to work on is the Sierra Alpha. This is the big dog, a turbo Hayabusa powered paddle shifted hill climb monster built with one goal in mind and that is a sub 10 minute climb up the infamous Pikes Peak. Life also has the intention of making the Alpha available for purchase as a top of the line Sierra car model equipped with all of the options, including a Haltech Elite ECU. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do on this Sierra car Alpha is we're actually going to do a baseline dyno run so that we can see exactly how much power it's making on the current ECU configuration. So it looks like the Alpha makes about 300 horsepower at the wheels on wastegate pressure. This will be our benchmark for tuning later. So since the engine is originally from a motorcycle, the transmission is a sequential, and that works well with flat shift and throttle blip downshift. To take full advantage of these functions in the Elite ECU, we need to make some mechanical changes to the Alpha. We're going to be adding a drive-by-wire throttle body and an accelerator pedal position sensor. APP for short. It allows us to use the ECU to blip the throttle on downshifts. So by programming the gear ratios into the ECU, it allows the ECU to perform a seamless downshift on every gear. What we're actually gonna do is utilize the original intake plenum with the new throttle body. We also need to remove the throttle flaps that are inside the original tubes for each cylinders. With a little bit of welding, everything will be sealed up and act just like a standard intake manifold. So since this chassis is just here for development, we're going to keep this thing simple and install the APP at the end of the original throttle cable. Eventually, the APP sensors will actually be moved to the front where the pedal box is located by Life Motorsport. Finally, we'll wire the paddle shift inputs to the ECU so they can be used to trigger the flat shift and the downshift. We'll also tie generic outputs to the paddles to move the shifter solenoid. Once we get all of the fabrication stuff done, it's time to work on the new harness. And luckily, that's the easy part. So one thing we decided to utilize was the TCA8 thermocouple CAN device. Having eight channels, it allows us to use four for EGTs and then engine oil, air temperature, and coolant temperature as well. One other component that we put in this car is a Haltec wideband controller. We did that for closed loop O2 control. So after a quick systems check, it's ready for its first fire. All right, Chris, the question is, do you feel lucky? So wait, we're gonna try to start it now? Yeah, we're gonna try to start it. Why not? Go ahead. Sick. That's not bad. I mean, think about it. How much we changed, fired right up. I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> I am totally okay with that. A real quick function check of the paddle shifters and then we'll hand it over to Brad.
All right, guys, we just got done with the dino. And we have really good news. This thing made 300 wheel horsepower, or just shy. 297 wheel horsepower. So then the last thing we have to set up is the flat foot shift and the auto blip downshift functions. We're gonna get that set up and then we're going testing. And we're not just going testing anywhere, we're going to NCM in Bowling Green. And for those of you who are not familiar with what NCM is, it is the National Corvette Museum racetrack. That's right, we're going to the home of the Corvette. You're going for a ride with Chris, and the guys with Life Motorsports, and it's gonna be a really good time, and I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you guys. I'm super jealous. All right, guys, so today we are out at the beautifully picturesque National Corvette Museum Motorsports Park. It's located in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's about two hours from our office and we're gonna take the Sierra Car Alpha out for a spin. We got Cole Powelson from Life Motorsports. He's flown in to pilot this bad boy and we're gonna get some tuning done, some testing done, and this thing is gonna rip. All right, Cole, we just finished a successful day of testing at NCM. Really successful yeah. day, yeah. Did you have fun? I had a great time, man. That track looks like a blast, man. Yeah, I, I wish I had tires to drive all day long. You know, I ended up taking them down to the cords today, but uh, it, was, it was totally worth it. How, how you feeling about the Haltech? So far, so good, man. Love yep. it. I can't believe that you guys are able to put the electronic throttle on it and um, get the paddle shift system to start working with yeah. it. And being able to tweak and fine tune on that was, was huge. So it took, it took away a lot of my Pikes Peak worries. I'm just super stoked with how everything's come together. You know, I shipped this car to you guys a couple months ago and just, you haven't said much. It could be a really good sign or a really bad <laughs> sign. And it turns out today it proves it was a really good sign. So yeah. I appreciate you guys taking this project on and helping us out. It was such a pain for us last year. We really wanted to avoid that again. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're definitely happy to be uh, on board with you guys and get, get all the levels of support that you have. I knew that you guys were, you know, passionate about it and really interested in the project and that's super important to us because mm -hmm. we put a lot into this as well and we want to get that same kind of love from other people so um, I think it's a really good fit with Haltech and uh, Life Motorsport and these Sierra cars. Alright, so you finally got a chance to drive it, right? Yes, dude, it was so good. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think that I wish that I had been there with you guys. Like that would have yeah. been awesome. The fact that he's happy, that's really all that matters. Yeah. Um, he seemed not scared to test it. <laughs> so I think these guys are uh, pretty much ready for Pike's Peak now. I mean, they're gonna take the car back from us and uh, do a little tweaking on the uh, on some of the setup, but uh, th this car is ready to eat, I think. Yeah, and they gotta make two more of them or they're in the process of making two more of them. So uh, it'll be three cars deep this year at Pikes Peak for the uh, for the Life Motorsport guys with uh, Haltech controlled uh, Sierra Alpha cars. Pretty sick. That's it for this episode of Husa Garage. Make sure you visit the comments section. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't like. Also, make sure to follow Haltech ECU on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, right here on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Wow. Oh. Not even like it. Wow.